All right, we gonna find out. So I hope you're doing pretty well. I hope that this message finds you and resonates with you. Um, so, let's see it. picture thinking, Pleiades energy, uh, visionary, inspired ideas. So you could be a bit of an inventor, like very uh, progressive thinking. Baby steps. This is taking action. Uh, follow your intuition before it makes sense. This is kind of like how like a baby when they first start learning how to walk, right? I don't know if you've ever watched a baby learn how to walk, but they go one step, two steps, and they're running, right? <laughs> like, bam, zero to a hundred, uh, in like three steps. So I feel like that's really what it's calling you to do. Like, don't think too much about it. If you feel inspired to take action on something, take action. Um, whale and the orca elders share your song, frequency of sound. Um, diving deep so you could be a musician also um i feel like if you're connecting with music music is a great thing if you're taking action in regards to music that's even better um i love music i don't think you could ever go wrong with diving deep into the musical realm right um also you might have a sound that's like new to the world right and i know like a lot of people are like what but after I heard um, country techno, like I learned that you could really invent a new sound that people ain't never heard before, okay? Like, um, so I feel like don't be afraid to like challenge it, to challenge sound, to, to present something that's different or outside of the mainstream, right? So let's see it. Yeah, the fool taking action. This is good energy. Um, Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, yeah, love might not be on your mind or you might not be feeling like in that, <clears throat> in that energy. Um, let's see. Or maybe you're dealing with somebody who isn't in that energy. Could be the case. Maybe collaborating with somebody and it's more on a friend front than like a romantic front. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles isn't going anywhere. He's just standing there, right? Like his horse is eating. He's just like looking around like, what do I do? What do I do? Um, I feel like it's telling you not to procrastinate. Don't go complacent. Don't stop. All right, once you start taking action, keep taking action. Um, but I do want to clarify that it's uh, Queen of Cups in reverse. Eight of Swords. There's something that you don't see. What don't you see?
there's something you're trying to manifest. Eight of Swords can also talk about swiftness. Things moving quickly. Um... With the Magus in reverse, though, it's like not knowing how to go about this. Maybe that's what you're struggling to see. Like, how do you start? Um, two of Wands is like making a decision or feeling like at a crossroads about it. Um, and maybe that's why there's this complacency, this standing still. Like, um... Because it's like not knowing what to do to move forward or not. Yeah. So let me get some advice for you. What should you do? What is your advice for now? Empress, your advice is to create. That's Aries energy right there. Um, and it's in the upright, right? Which is great. That's great. Um, it should be. <laughs> uh, so it's really asking you to create, to really dive into your creations. And it's like, don't worry about how you're going to put it out there or anything like that. Like, all you need to focus on right now, like, don't hyper overthink about the future. You just need to focus on your creations, what you're creating, how you're creating. Um, Queen of Wands, Queen of Fire, right? Your fire sign. Um, this goes back into that creative energy, that divine feminine energy. Also, your creations have to do with communication. Um, so I do feel that, that energy of music. Um, surround yourself with sound. Listen to all kinds of music. Get inspired. Right? The Queen of Wands is not only inspired, but she inspires others. Um, Ten of Wands. Maybe it's time to get something off of your chest. Or maybe there's like a message. Or some, you know, some emotional burden. And I feel like this could be a perfect opportunity for you to get that off of your chest. Um, release that burden. Kind of unload the, the weight of it all. Eight of Pentacles, it's just saying get down to work, get down to business. Um, it just keeps saying take action, take action, take action. No more sleeping on this idea. Um, create. Alright, even if you feel like Oh, I need this mic, or I need this camera, or I need this da 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 da. I'll tell you what, some of the best freaking music I've made was with a gaming headset <laughs> in a bedroom that had no sound tripping. And no, you know, um, sometimes you just have to use the resources that you have, right? With the Magis in reverse, I feel really called to tell you that. Sometimes you need to start with the resources you have and then build from there. It's like when I started reading tarot cards. I freaking started with a handmade, like, deck. I saw it around here somewhere. Somewhere in these spots. Um, but yeah. Let me go get it, actually. Hey. Let me drop everything while I go get it. <laughs> um, yes. So, this... This is what I had before I had tarot cards. Just a bunch of cool colored papers, right? And on the other side, I was making my tarot cards. I haven't even finished them, right? Most of them are unfinished. But this is literally the deck I started reading tarot on. Because sometimes taking action means even if you don't have the thing, if you have a dream in your heart, you're going to make it fucking happen, right? If you have a dream in your heart, you're going to make it happen. If you have nothing, right? I've seen people use freaking oil drums 
to make drum noises with, you know, like, I just can't be convinced that you need anything outside of your natural talent. Um, because all else will come to fruition for you. All else will fall into place. Princess of Wands, I feel like you might be getting opinions from others. Be careful whose opinions you, um, you focus on. Even if it's good opinions, your opinion needs to be the most important in regards to your, what you're doing. Uh, Ten of Swords in Reverse. Alright, we got Ten Ten. Endings and New Beginnings. This is your rebirth, right? Um... This is you, like, bringing something to life. This is like that Frankenstein moment for you where you may have felt defeated. You may have felt like there was no moving forward. And then, bam, door of, op of opportunity opens. Um, the lovers in reverse. With the Queen of Swords, you could be working with the Gemini. Um, or, you know, this collaboration, this connection... Could simply just not be about love right with the queen of swords i feel like and the queen of cups in reverse this is like the energy of like right now it's not about feelings like that right it's not about love like that it's about creation and taking action towards um towards what you really want Three of Wands in reverse. No more waiting for th for the perfect conditions. Six of Swords in reverse. I feel like it's really just calling you to stop wasting time. You need to just get to work and get down to business. Um, don't be distracted by romanticism right now. I know that's a hard one because a lot of people love distracting themselves with romanticism. But right now, it's like it's time for your dreams to come true, right? Let that... let love kind of sort itself out right now focus on your growth and your expansiveness um yeah that's really the energy i'm seeing here it's you need to create um, you need to take action towards your creation, your natural talents, let life kind of work out for you, you know, but you've got to take action towards what you really want. Mishana Kali. Life as you've known it will change radically, and this can be a welcome release. Kali is not quiet and subdued in the cremation grounds. She is wild and vital. Kali brings energy and aliveness to situations where there would otherwise be none. 
She brings an end to stagnation that has been depleting your life force, right? That goes back to the um, Knight of Pentacles, right? No more stagnation. Time to get moving. Uh, Duma Bhakti. Certain endings are unavoidable. They are necessary precursors to radical reinvention. Any disappointment, defeat, or loss in the negative repercussions of such experiences will not limit your future happiness, but are opening up yet unrecognized pathways for fulfillment. Your trust must be unconditional at this time, and later you shall see that everything has worked out for the absolute best. Bhagalamukhi. <clears throat> she arrests the flow of negativity, particularly that of our own making. She transforms our karma from that which hinders our joy to that which can create true happiness. As you seek refuge in her, you are protected from gossip, slander, and any form of negativity from others. A positive turning of the tide of, go of good fortune is predicted. Anahata Kali, your heart cannot be contained or constrained by what has taken place in your life. Your heart, wisdom, and empowerment is growing, and soon you shall have the wisdom and courage to accomplish something significant to your soul journey. Trust in the invisible workings of divine love in your life. Let your heart be at peace as it guides you onward. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. Namaste. I love you guys and I will catch you later.